Juan Bravo created a robot that can gently harvest strawberries. Using sensors and cameras, it analyzes each berry's ripeness and programs the movement of a robotic arm to snip the stem without disturbing the plant's less ripe fruit. They ripe from the bottom to the top, so the, the tip of the bottom becomes red while the, the other part of the strawberry is still green and is going up. So we measure what part of the strawberry is in red and what is still remaining in green. We typically want about 90% red, 10% green. That is a perfect moment for harvest. On average, the robot cuts one berry every 10 seconds. Over the course of three days, the machine can harvest eight hectares of strawberries. We don't want to touch the skin of the strawberry, never. So if we don't touch the surface, we are not going to contaminate it. Could be with mildew, or could be with virus, or whatever. We don't touch the strawberry. Automated harvesting is augmented by Agrobot's bug vacuum, which is literally sucking out pests from the bushes without harming the berries or using pesticides. The robots do not get hot or tired, but they are not taking jobs from humans, says Matt Conroy, district manager for a local fruits and vegetables producer. As an industry, we are short on people. I have a whole roughly 15 to 20 percent every year that I need that much many more people. It's not a matter of displacing people, it's a matter of filling in the holes and the gaps to where we don't have enough people to do the jobs. Conroy says he is looking forward to modified agro-robots helping to harvest other crops as well. Jenny Adzulow, VOA News, Oxnard, California.